Hi everybody, welcome to Ace Engineering Academy and Ace Online. Here is an important notification from Bharat Electronics Limited for engineering students. So, to go and see the notification, you have to click on the URL bel-india.in slash job notifications. So, this is the website URL. So, if you go into the website URL, so job notifications will be there and here you can see the second notification recruitment for the post of fixed term deputy engineer and senior engineer for radar SBU of BEL Ghajiabad. So, this is the recruitment notification. So, here you can see click here to view the detailed advertisement prescribed EWS certificate format is there prescribed SCST certificate format prescribed PWBD certificate format prescribed other backward class certificate format instructions for making payment through SBI collect click here. Then link to apply online all the things were clearly given here so first let us see the detailed advertisement so if i click on the detailed advertisement so here is the detailed advertisement you can see the advertisement here bharat electronics Li limited a government of india enterprise under the ministry of defense so this was notified on 12th november 2024 and here <coughs> it is for senior engineer e3 category BE BTEC Computer Science, BE BTEC Electronics, minimum post qualification work experience is 4 years, the number of posts for computer science is 4 and for electronics is 4. <coughs> so, the number of posts for computer science is 4 and electronics is 4 and minimum post qualification experience is 4 years and upper age limit as on 1st October 2024 is 35 years for both the categories and total posts are 8 here. Unreserved category 4 posts are there OBC 2 posts, SC 1 post, ST 1 post and location of posting is Bangalore. So, location of posting is Bangalore for this senior engineer E3 category. Then the next category job that you people have is deputy engineer E2. So, here BE BTEC computer science, BE BTEC electrical. Okay as well as BE BTEC electronics. So, for all the three departments, there were posts here. So, for these posts, deputy engineer E2 category experience is not required and here the number of posts for computer science is 2, then electrical 1 post and electronics 2 posts are there. Total number of posts are 5 here and maximum age limit is 28 years. And here the posting for computer science is Orissa Chendipur and for electrical Orissa Chendripur, then Tamil Nadu Sulur Tambaram, this is for electronics category students. Then upper age limit for deputy engineer as on 1st October 2024, maximum 28 years, general candidates, this is the maximum age limit, OBC candidate 31 years and <coughs> ST candidates maximum 33 years, date of birth on or after 1st October 1991 is given for ST candidates, OBC 1st October 1993, then general candidates 1st October 1996. So, this is upper age limit for deputy engineer that is for the post which does not require any experience. Okay, Then, upper age limit for senior engineer as on 1st October 2024 general candidates so general candidates 35 years obc 38 years scst candidates maximum 40 years is given here so pw candidates pwbd candidates 10 years in addition to the age limit relaxation permitted in the respective category ex servicemen relaxation as per government guidelines so sslc ssc isc mark card and other relevant <coughs> valid document will be considered as proof of date of birth so, this is one thing you need to remember, 10th class mark list will be considered as the proof for date of birth here. Then, the next thing here, candidates seeking age relaxation will be required to attach copy of necessity certificate along with the application form and submit in original in case of selection or provide at any subsequent stage of the process of verification. The cast disability certificate should be strictly in the format available in the BEL website. Already at the beginning, I have shown you 
different formats were given. So, you have to use that format only and fill that and apply for this. Okay. So, the application of the candidates not meeting the prescribed age criteria will be rejected, cancelled without any prior intimation. Candidates belonging to OBC non creamy layer should produce the certificate issued on or after 1st October 2023 in prescribed format. So, age relaxation will be provided subjected to vacancy in respective category in the particular post as listed above. So, BE, BTEC, BSc Engineering, AMIE from AACT approved college institute or a recognized university is the educational qualification required. Okay, then coming to the discipline, the candidates who have acquired BE, BTEC, BSc Engineering, AMIE, the following discipline only are eligible electrical, electrical and electronics engineering, electrical engineering, computer science, computer science engineering, computer science and engineering, computer science engineering. Then electronics, electronics, electronics and communication, electronics and telecommunication, communication and telecommunication. So, these are the disciplines. Okay. So, only these people will be considered here. Then candidates whose discipline specialization mentioned in their relevant degree certificate does not tally with the discipline specialization prescribed in the advertisement will not be considered for selections. So, try to remember that. So, only the disciplines that were mentioned above. Only those discipline candidates need to apply. Other candidates, if they apply also, that will be rejected. Try to remove that. Okay. So, for all the posts indicated, the candidate should have qualified from AICT, UGC, approved college, institute or recognized university. Candidates applying for the above indicated poses, indicated posts should possess first class for general OBC, NCL and pass class for SCST, PWD candidates. Okay. So, this is the criteria, percentage criteria that was given. Now, the next things here, candidates have to compulsorily attach the provisional final degree certificate as proof of completion of degree and indication of class and percentage of marks. In case any university institute or college is following evaluation system of CGPA, DGPA, OGPA or letter grade, wherever applicable, it is mandatory for the candidates to submit proof of percentage issued by the university institute college and award class along with degree certificate and the major thing so everybody will be looking for this only senior engineer e3 grade so the salary package pay scale will be rupees 50000 3% to rupees 160000 and for deputy engineer e2 grade so 40000 rupees to 140000 rupees 3 percentage allowances will be given here and job location for senior engineer Bangalore, Karnataka for deputy engineer Chendipur, Orissa and Sulur, Tambaram, Tamil Nadu already it was mentioned in the table above. Okay. Then relevant post qualification. See previously for this uh, post senior engineer post four years experiences asked and here for computer science software tester with minimum experience of four years in manual or automated testing using any test tools like polyspace ldra coverty parasoft etc so these are the testing tools so which are required so four years experience is required then electronics firmware tester with minimum experience of four years in relevant skill set for technical work very long VHDL programming from for Altera, Xilinx and verification, then FPGA, RF systems, algorithms, RF instruments, network analyzer, spectrum analyzer, test plan and report generation. So, this is the required qualification that was given here. Okay, candidate possessing relevant industrial post qualification experience only needs to apply. Academy teaching research work experience in non-profit organization, internship, project work placements are part of academic curriculum will not be considered as experience. Work experience prior to completion of BE, BTEC will not qualify as relevant post qualification experience. So, try to go through all this information carefully dear students. So, before applying for this post. Okay. So, job responsibilities of deputy engineer, computer science, software engineers with following job responsibilities, GUI development using C, C++ and QT 
और अदर क्रॉस प्लेटफॉर्म जी यू आई लाइब्रेरी थ्री डी डिस्प्ले डिजाइन ओके नेटवर्क प्रोग्रामिंग मल्टी थ्रेड प्रोग्रामिंग शेल स्क्रिप्ट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर डेटा बेस प्रोग्रामिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल हार्डवेयर इंजीनियर विद फॉलोइंग जॉब रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एम्बेडेड डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्रामिंग इन सी सी प्लस प्लस वी एच डी एल वेरी लॉग प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर अल्टेरा जाइलिंग एफ पी सी जी एफ पी जी ए जी पी यू आर एफ एस ओ सी अलगरिदम्स एंड ऑपरेशन एंड मेजरमेंट यूजिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल आर एफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स देन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स साइट इंस्टॉलेशन कमीशनिंग ऑपरेशन एंड मेंटेनेंस सपोर्ट डिजाइन प्रोडक्शन टेस्टिंग प्रोडक्ट एश्योरेंस क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस सेल्स कमर्शियल मार्केटिंग सब कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्सेट्रा ऑफ बी ई एल इक्विपमेंट सिस्टम देन कमिंग टू मेथड ऑफ सेलेक्शन सेलेक्शन विल बी selection will be through a written test followed by an interview only for those candidates who will be shortlisted based on their performance in the written test in the ratio of 1 is to 5 for e2 post and 1 is to 7 for e3 post so this is the interview shortlisting procedure written test will be conducted at bangalore and bhubaneswar candidates have to give their test center preference in the application form and interviews will be held only in bangalore dear students so kindly go through that then how to apply so candidates who are desirous of applying for the above posts indicated in the advertisement may apply online by clicking on this link so this is the link given so if you click on this link it will be redirecting so you can apply from there last date to submit online application form is 3rd december 2024 okay so try to go through this in detail and then go for applying dear students i'll just show you so where you can apply where you can apply so here link to apply online is there so if you click here fresh candidate click here to create login already logged in candidate click here to complete the process so when you are going for first time so you can click here to create the login and here last date for applying online is given 3rd december 2024 up to 11:59 hours so 11:59 pm okay so try to remember this so fresh candidate click here to create login so he is asking name of the candidate as per matriculation certificate that means as per your 10th standard certificate you have to enter this one date of birth re enter date of birth post applying for so here two posts are there one is experience related the second one is without experience then discipline electronics computer science so depending upon the post you select so suppose you are selecting deputy engineer you will get three categories electronics computer science electrical if it is senior engineer post you will get two categories electronics and computer science then you need to give your email id re enter email id and password then have you read and understood the guidelines you need to click on s yes and then submit after that you need to enter all the details by logging in okay so first you have to register by using this form and then you have to log in and enter all the details and upload the necessary certificates okay so then once your name is shortlisted you will be going to write a written test and if you are selected in the written test then you will be going for an interview okay thank you all the very best